Hey guys, Daniel here. So in today's video, we will be reviewing my brand new Class 150 from Backman that I got for Christmas. Now unfortunately there won't be an unboxing because I already unboxed it. Because I needed to do a few test runs and things. But I will show you a bit of it running in this video. Anyways, let's get to the review. Okay guys, now we can get on to detail. Let's have a look around the train. So we'll start at the uh, motor coach here. Um, and it is pretty good for detail. We have very good distinctive things on this particular model. But then again, it is Backman, so you do, that's what you expect, isn't it? Uh, so here we have the handrails, which I believe are probably separately fitted. Yep, they are separately fitted. Actually, yeah, they probably are separately fitted. Uh, we've got the window um, wipers, windscreen wipers, and the gangways here. They look very good. Um, and we got this hatchet here now. Even though I'm a train enthusiast, I'm not sure what it is for, so if you do know what it is for, please tell me in the comments below. Uh, and the lights on this model do indeed work. So that's good. And uh, the bodywork, uh, I mean the paintwork, is applied onto the bodywork very well. I don't see any problems with it. Very neatly applied indeed. Now, for cab detail, um, you can't, I can't really show you in there, be well, I could, but it'd be a bit hard to. It's not too bad, actually. There's no paint or cab detail, but it shows the cab very well. You've got your warning stickers and stuff on the side of here, and the button, and this is for the driver's door. Now, moving on swiftly to the interior and exterior of the passenger compartment area now this is a bit annoying you probably can't see this but the interior is here the the windows are very good no paintwork issues and um, you can see the seat backs in there yeah you can there's no painted detail in there nor is it too good but it's still an interior that you can actually see because on most models you can't really see an interior which is good um, you have these lights here which would light up when the doors are unlocked here is the outside of the doors this one is the disabled door and it's got the disabled door stripe which is very good um, we've got again more warning stickers and disabled badge and uh, the uh, very well apply door handle I mean door button sorry you press that to open the door and uh, looking at the logo it's very nicely applied I say that there's a bit of dust on it yeah remove that look at that it's alright it's very nice but this is the best bit you know on the undercarriage you wouldn't see too much you wouldn't expect too much on any undercarriage really but look at that it's very detailed you got the power box and you've got the uh, exhaust systems and whatnot, and even the exhaust tube here is very good. My Backman Class 170, which I've had for several years, is nowhere near as good as this for detail. They really have up their game in a few years. Um, you'll have seen it in my other videos. Uh, interior on this one is a lot easier to see. This is the dummy coach, by the way, and as you can see, it's got. Yeah, it's just got seats and really. You can you can see out from the other side, look, there's the people on platform one. Um again, exterior on this is brilliant. It's even got download app on the app, app store and Google Play. It's brilliant. Um and here's the cycle door this time. It's got the cycle stripes and the bike and the button for the door and all the warning symbols. It's about the same on on the sides and everything. It's just a standard class 150, but it's very well detailed. This bit here is the bike compartment, I know that, because the seats are facing that way. Uh, so there's room for bikes in the middle. Uh, the northern logo is again very well applied. 
Just noticed it says Northern by Reaver. It's not by Reaver anymore, but yep. Yeah, again, the doors and stuff all very good. I've got a hatchet on the coupling on this side, unlike the other side because it just fell off for some reason. Now, if I can show you the destination, I'll try and get it on this side. This this is going to. Okay, hold on. One second, folks. Just need to sort this. I don't know if you can tell. But it's going to Manchester Piccadilly. I'm sure you can read Manchester. Or maybe not. Maybe. Oh, the roof is very Class 150 like. It's got good texture to it. Now if we move back down the train. Yeah, that's about it for detail. But very well detailed in my opinion. Now then, time for the mechanical side of things. Well, I've got to get it somewhere where I can do that, don't I? Now that I've got both coaches uncoupled, I'll just show you the coupling. Now this one has a 21 pin DCC socket, or whatever it's called. And you can't see it very well, but it attaches to the coach from this end here. And there are two little uh, copper wires, or whatever you want to call them, sticking out there. And what they do is, when you connect it into the coach, you may notice there were two copper coloured things there. It touches those things, and that's where the light goes to the coaches. However, I've not taken out. I've not taken it out of the other end because of a bad mechanical issue with that coupling. That coupling on one end, the uh, the prongs are meant to be nice and flat, but the pr what the prongs on the other end are like that. So I took a lot of it took a lot of care and a lot of pain and stress just to get it in without breaking it. So yeah, that's why the lights in one coach won't be. Uh, as bright when I when I when I'm running it and you'll see it next when I do the performance test. I should also mention this fault has caused even the lights at the front of yes uh, I can't remember which coach it is but anyways the point is the lights at the front of one of the coaches have not lit up as they should do because of this error. I may take the coupling back to the stock list where I bought it from to uh, get a new one at some point, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but it still runs and works absolutely fine. So uh, let's get on to the running test. Now for the bit you've been waiting for, the running. And it's a very good runner, let me tell you that. And as you can see, the lights in one coach are very dim and the lights in the rear coach are very bright because of the coupling issue. Now, from the time it's been in the coupling, it has been easier to connect into the thing, uh, into the port. And uh, apparently the bit where I uncoupled it was actually the faulty bit, but it's still alright. You will be able to see the, you will be able to see the lights if I show you from a very short distance, but I don't think I can really do that right now. As you can see, the lights on the front don't quite work properly. And um, one of the the main light is dim uh, because of the coupling issue. So yeah, that's not very good. But it's it it runs and drives all right, and it's a very good, high quality train from Backman, in my opinion. Right, we're now going to stop it. I'm not sure what squeaking noise is coming from the wheels, but never mind. Stopped a bit further than I wanted it to have done, but that's alright. So, what do I think of this particular DMU? Well, it's, uh, it's a great um, addition to my layout. It's here now to replace this sh shabby little pacer that I've had for a couple of years. Uh, which has uh, unfortunately died, one of the engines is gone, so I've now got a replacement for it. And this also symbolises the paces we've drawn in real life. But anyways, back to the point. Yeah, I quite like this train, and I've, I've seen it, I saw it in Lincoln in summer in a model shop there. You'll, you'll have seen it if you ever went to Lincoln and you've been on the high street. Anyways, the point is, I saw it in there and I thought, 
Yes, I want this. My pacer is dead. I need a replacement. So, um, I've got it now, and it's a great train. And it, um, it's very well detailed, which I like. Most of my trains are either moderately or not very well detailed. Um, and, yeah, it's got, it's got a good mechanism. It runs very well, if I haven't already said. Um, um, but, yes, I have addressed the mechanical issue, which uh, shouldn't have affected all the Class 150s. It's probably just affected mine. Um, but if I ever do end up getting a replacement coupling, I'll have a fully functional working Class 150 from Backman. And uh, ratings out of five stars. I think for this, slow, for this train, I would give it four and a half. I would have given it five, but because of the mechanical issue in the 21-pin uh, DCC coupling thingamajig, uh, because of that fault, I'm only giving it a four and a half. But it's uh, it's a very lovely train, and I would and I and I will run this for a very long time, and I'm sure it's got lots of life ahead of it. Anyways, thank you for watching this review of my brand new Backman Class 150. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next video.